What's up, pirates? My name is Jason, and today we're gonna open up the Houndstone EX box. Let's get into it. How's it going, everybody? Hope you guys are all having a great day today. If not, I hope this video can help cheer you up just a little bit. Today, we have a Houndstone EX box. Now, this is one of the collection boxes that came out last Friday. I thought I'd pick it up, showcase it on the channel. Well, something quick. Of course, it has the Houndstone EX Revert and then four pack standard collection box. Now, is it worth the buy? These typically run between $20 retail. You can find it cheaper at card shops, maybe a little bit more elsewhere. But yeah, with four packs, and the packs are what's gonna make this box worth it or not worth it. If we see Obsidian Flames, not worth it. Paday Evolved, worth it. Stellar Crown, definitely gonna have Stellar Crown in it. So if Stellar Crown is a great set, you love it, this might be a box to pick up and hold if you just wanna keep sealed product. Or if you wanna open up some Stellar Crown, might be a good way to get some promos, jumbo card, things of that nature. Now, before we get into it, if you are new, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, hit the dislike button if you don't, let me know down below, and without further ado, let's get into this box. So, again, just a standard EX collection box, you get your jumbo card, as like every collection box now has jumbo cards in it, you get two promo cards. And it seems like they're they're doing that for all of them. You get the the Pokemon that they're promoting. So in this case, Houndstone. Sorry. And then you get the previous evolution of it. So Houndstone EX, and then you get the Griever, which is right. Now without the V's and the V stars, the V maxes, it's not a base anymore. EXs used to be base. Got to evolve from the Pokemon it previous is. And that's where we get this, which I don't remember the last time they had, they had to have one, right? I think like they maybe queue one or something like that. I don't remember if that one had um, a, pre a little Pokemon with it as well. All right, so we got all of that out, but we have our Houndstone EX promo card and then our Griever promo as well, all right? And then as for our packs, let me put you right over here. And actually, just do this right now. Code, boom. All right. So we get two Stellar Crowns. But what are the other two packs? Let's check it out. Stellar Crown, Stellar Crown, Twilight Masquerade, two Twilight. So two Stellars and two Twilights. That's not actually that bad. Twilight Masquerade having the Ogre Pond in it, very playable card. And I think oh, what what's the what is Stellar Crown? I mean, Stellar Crown has the illustration rares. But out of four packs here, I'm not expecting much. I think I'm gonna get one hit, maybe just one EX card. Anything more than that, I'll be happy. If I get a full arch, if I could get an illustration rare, if I get a special illustration rare, that'll be super awesome. But as of right now, I'm not expecting that. I just expect a regular EX card. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this opening. We'll start off with Twilight Masquerade, because Stellar Crown is actually pretty sweet. Actually, both these, both of these packs are really, really good. I actually do like that they give you two of the same ones. Twilight Masquerade. Okay. Let's get into it. And then after this, after the opening, I'll give you a little grade of what we should get for this one. Of if it's worth it, what grade will I give this? I'll see. It's not bad. It's going to be pretty good. Clofable. Cook Reverse. And let's see. What do we have after that? No illustration room. We have a Clofable. And... A4! I am happy. <laughs> I am happy. A Carmine! I already have this one, but I will take a full art from four random packs. That's really nice. Happy about that. I can't complain about this at all. Sweet. Fighting energy and code. I, I think I did I complain when I said I already have it? No, I enjoy that. Now let's get into the next one. Wow, that's actually really nice. <laughs> from a loose pack. Okay, next, Twilight Masquerade. Do we have something here? No, that's just the hollow, right? We got a Paul Sand, Timber, Spinarak. Hey, it's Suing Growlithe. That's right, Growlithe is in here as well. Okay, Florges, 
belly bolts. We have a more peco and no illustration rare, but a pheasant dippity and a hollow chandelure. Yeah, there's the hollow and another fighting energy. Okay, there's the code. So done with Twilight Masquerade. Now it's time for Stellar Crown. And of course, looking for the Bulbasaur, looking for the Squirtle. Would love to get those. Already have the Terrapagos. That was awesome. Put that in the last video. If you didn't check, see that, go check it out. Let's get into this. We got a Mianfu. Mo Rotom. Score Bunny. Cover Fossil. Revivroom. Glass Trumpet. A Dion C. We have a Tauros and a Joltik with another full art. Hey, a Dosh Bunny X. I cannot complain th about this. This is a fantastic, and I mean a fantastic opening. Two full arts, one from Stellar Crowd, one from Twilight Masquerade. That's actually really, really cool. All right, sweet. And we have a Fire Energy with the Koo. And the final pack of this opening. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to catch more. I'll be uploading more uh, content on the channels. Yeah, I guess that. I guess that's it. But Wulu, Choodle, Finian. This one. I just feel like there's a lot of pa like cards in here. Koridon, Togemaru, Veluza, and Reverse Comfy with Meryl and Hollow Out Creamy. Okay. Pretty much the same thing as uh, the first with Twilight Masquerade. Two full arts. I cannot complain. A full art combine and a full art Dosh Bunny X. Very, very nice. Of course, we did get our two promos, which if you're just in it for the promo collecting, honestly, I give this box Twilight Masquerade Stellar Crown $20 retail costs, four packs. It's like five something for the packs on average with the promos. I gave it a solid B. The promo isn't that great. The Houndstone EX, I think he already got a promo. So another one, kind of a little lackluster. But the packs are really good. So Stellar Crown, Twilight Masquerade. I give this a B for cost and for the packs. Or a B plus. I gave it a B plus. That's pretty nice. But that's gonna do it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Do you think a B plus is good or just like hey, it's mid C plus will be fine. Uh, let me know if you disagree or agree. But until next time, probs, have yourselves a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.